tired of feeling like your Windows 11 setup is working against you. In this video, we're diving into a set of powerful yet lightweight Windows 11 customization tools that can streamline your workflow, reduce distractions, and make your desktop experience way more efficient. Whether you're working, studying, or just trying to stay organized, these tools are game changers. So let's kick things off with the Windhawk. Now here I have Windhawk website open. I will also put this link in the video description down below. And while you are here on their website, click here on the download button and you should get the installer of Windhawk. Now you can navigate here to the file explorer just like so and make sure that you install Windhawk on your computer. The setup is quite straightforward. And by the way, guys, if you need a brand new wallpaper, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which you guys can check out in the video description below. Now, once you have Windhog installed on your computer, you'll find here the first page, which is home. And now you will install first mod for the Windhog, which will massively improve your productivity on Windows 11. And this one is called Taskbar Volume Control. Here down below, you can also see that it has 38,000 users. And here, if you click on the details, you can go here on top to in install it. So just like this, and I'll click here on accept risk and install. Now, just wait for it to finish installing. And now with this mod installed, you can go wherever you want on your taskbar and make sure that you use the scroll wheel on your mouse. And you can see here how the volume actually changes. Of course, you can do this by default on Windows 11. If you only go here to the system tray and scroll down and scroll up with your scroll wheel. However, with this addition, you can go wherever you want in the taskbar and it will change also the volume. Now you can also go here to the settings and change the volume control indicator to whatever you prefer. You can, for example, go even to the Windows 7 one and click here on save settings. And this is what this option actually looks like. It's a bit finicky here at the moment. And I do recommend it to use here the Windows 11 version, never the last. Now here down below, you'll find additional settings like middle click mute. And then down below, you'll also find other options as well. Now this is first mod, which you must install for improving your productivity on Windows 11. Now the next one is actually this one right here, middle click to close on the taskbar. This one has 15,000 users. You can go here on the details and install it the same way as you did for the first option. So just click on the install button right here and accept risk and install here. Now, once you have it installed, you can just simply use the middle click on any of your apps and it will close the app by using this mod. Now, the next one, the next mod, which I highly recommend installing for your Windhog is this one right here, better file sizes in Explorer details. Now, if you go here to the details, you can install it the same way as you did for the first two mods. So just simply click on install and then click on accept the risk and install. Now here you can see what this modification will do. You can see right now the megabytes, the gigabytes, kilobytes on your file explorer, which I think it's really, really cool. Now, one simple tip I can also give you here. If you go to the explore page, you guys can also install this two mods. So the first one is Windows 11 start menu styler. So this one, if you go to the details, you can see that you can also customize the look of your start menu. And then the next one is also the Windows 11 taskbar styler. So if you go here to the details, you guys can also customize the taskbar by using the Windhawk. But this won't necessarily improve productivity on your Windows 11 computer. By the way, guys, if if you are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video and also subscribe to the channel because it really means a lot. Now, the next app which you must install on your computer is called Quick Look. Now, just go here to the Microsoft Store and here on top, just search for Quick Look. Now here, click on this third app, Quick Look, and this app is updated quite regularly and click on Get to install it on your computer. And what this will do, this one will enable a very quick preview of file contents by pressing the space bar. So here I will click on Open and you guys can also see here the icon in the system tray of the Quick Look. And now if I go here to the File Explorer, I can go here to the pictures, for example. And now here I have a picture. And now if I click, for example, Space, 
interface on my keyboard, you guys can see here this very simple preview. Now, you guys can also install a few of the plugins for this application. If you go here to the system tray and you guys can click here on find new plugins and you guys can see here on their GitHub page, a lot of the plugins to install for this specific program. You guys can see here, there's a literally a lot of them like the PDF viewers, office viewers and stuff like that. So make sure that you install the ones you actually need. Now, the next app, which you must install on Windows 11 computer to improve productivity is called Shell. Now, what Shell fixes is this right click context menu. Now you can see that Windows 11 has its own Windows 11 right click context menu compared to Windows 10. However, the Shell application actually fixes that and makes it way more usable. Now, I will leave this website in the video description down below and you guys can click here on download and then down below, click on the installer here. I will go with download setup for ARM64 and I'll just install it on your computer. And now once you successfully installed the shell program, you guys can right click here on your desktop and you will see here how many of the options there actually are compared to the before default Windows 11 right click context menu. So here we have the view, sort by, refresh, terminal, file manage. We can also go here, go to open in the terminal and also new and then display settings and also personalize. Now let me show you also how this looks in the file explorer. So here I have, for example, this wallpaper link is in the video description down below, by the way. And if you right click here, you guys can also see this new context menu, which looks very, very nice. So add it with paint, open with more options, terminal, file manage, go to. So yeah, this is one another app which you must install install on Windows 11 to improve your productivity. By the way, guys, if you are enjoying this type of content, make sure that you smash up the like button on this video and also subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot. Now, the next app to install to improve your productivity on Windows 11 is Power Toys from Microsoft. I will leave this link in the video description down below. And now once you have Power Toys installed, you can go here to open settings tool, which I highly recommend of using is this one right here. If you go under the system tools, you have here Power Toys run. So if you right now click Alt plus space on your keyboard, it will open this feature, which is the search window, which doesn't come by default on Windows 11. And I think it's absolutely very, very useful because from this, you guys can just search for the applications to open. If you search, for example, for Microsoft Edge, you guys can just open it from this window and you guys can also do the calculations. For example, nine minus one, you guys can just do the calculation. So overall, I think this is a must install on your computer. You have this feature Power Toys run on your computer. It will massively improve your productivity on Windows 11. And now the next app to install is called Modern flyouts preview you guys can install this application from the microsoft store click here on get and you guys can open it and you guys will see here the settings as well now what this application will do it will change the flyout options here the look of the flyouts to something completely different so here we can see that we have the default flyout you guys can change that to new flyout with this app and also we guys can change the dark theme option and also a few more settings as well this will not necessarily improve your productivity on Windows 11, but nevertheless, it will make the flyouts look way nicer than the default Windows 11 flyouts. And now the last app to install to improve your productivity on Windows 11 is Raymeter and the widgets. I will leave the link for this website in the video description down below. And once you are here, just simply click on the download button. You guys can then navigate here to the file explorer and just simply install it as you would for any other program. And now once you have it installed on your computer, you should see here a few of the widgets on your desktop. You guys can just right click here and click on unload skin. And here on the right top, you will also find these. So just unload every single one of them. Now you guys can navigate here back to your web browser. And here, let's search for a few widgets, which I think will massively improve your productivity on Windows 11. Now, one of them, it's called Monterey Rain Meter. And this is a cool set of the widgets, which you can add to your desktop. You guys can see what they look like right here. And you guys can navigate also here to the releases and then just click on this file to save it to your computer. And now navigate to your downloads folder and double 
left click on the widget and then click on the install. Now you guys should see this widget on your desktop. You guys can just here enable a few of them. I will here enable clock. I will also enable calendar and let's also add notes for example. Now to change the look of them you guys can go here under the appearance and change the theme. I will go with the blur because I think it looks the best and now once you have the widgets you want on your desktop you guys can just position them wherever you like. I'll put this one here down below and I will put this one somewhere here next to it and now for the clock I will just right click on it and select here white so we have this really nice looking clock on our desktop and we can also go here to the ray meter icon here in the system tray go to the Monterey and double left click on the settings.ini now here what you will do you will go to the widgets and also add monitoring widget to our desktop now this is really cool place it somewhere here on the bottom right of our screen now to install a few more widgets the one which i highly recommend as well is mii power so this one will add the restart button power off button to our desktop as well so when you are here on this link i will also put it in the video description down below by the way scroll down and click here on download and it should save on your computer now just install it as you did for the other widget as well to navigate here to the system tray click on the rain meter icon now you guys can navigate here to the MII power, click on it, click on the power and here you will find two options. Here I will go with the white version which W stands for and here I will just place it somewhere here at the bottom. Here are six programs which I highly recommend to install on your Windows 11 computer. Please let me know in the comment section what do you actually think and if I missed any of the programs. So with that said I will leave every single tool mentioned in this video linked below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already and also like this video it would really mean a lot now with that said have an amazing rest of your day and i will see you all around in the next video